Hey, it's a Cooligans Best Of episode. That's right, baby. We're the best. We are the best, okay? <laughs> Not forget DJ Khaled. Yeah, no. Well, another one right here. <laughs> okay, so uh, be- look, Cooligans Best Of episode. So all this and more today on the Cooligans! <laughs> We're uh, here. Uh, We're doing uh, it. Uh, <laughs> Best of intro. Uh, we're excited about uh, today. I hope you're enjoying yourself, your holiday, whatever. I hope whatever you're enjoying you... yourself. I hope you. That's it. I hope you exploring <laughs> yourself and enjoying it. Yeah, that's it. Those two, <laughs> they, they go well hand in hand. Hey, or other things. <laughs> uh, but today. <laughs> Uh, we have a bunch of uh, fun uh, moments from the show. That's and, right. Uh, but the first one that we got to start with is uh, one about a legend, Diego That's Maradona. Right. Papa. Papa. <laughs> that we, I think we we realize he's legendary for more reasons than just soccer. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, so we put the pieces together. <laughs> Check it out. It all makes sense. Did you see the Diego Maradona documentary yet? I think you just told me you did, right? I did. Okay. I did see it. You watched the whole thing? I watched the entire thing. I, you, what I, were your thoughts? Because I thought it was incredible. I know I, it's been out for a few weeks now, but... It was very good. I I wasn't a huge fan of the um, style of it, which is basically um, a story being told over B-roll and, like, kind of interviews, uh, that like, old interviews. And it was it must have been an incredible, an incredibly difficult thing to put together. Like, yeah. archiving, getting all this footage and all this other stuff. Very, very difficult. But I loved it. I love the look of it. I love the pace of it. I love the feel of it. I yeah. think more of these should be done. I thought this was absolutely perfect. I think it would have been sort of disrupted a little bit if you would have just had like interviews and, and had him on today. It would have been too much comparing back and forth. It was nice to sort of almost following him along just through like news clippings, you know? Sure. So the only issue I had with it, it was definitely engaging, but it felt a little slow at times. Yeah, I like that though. Did you see the last clip where he finally like admits that it's his son yeah that's pretty great i mean it's just like it, after the whole thing you just realize this dude is just like i just a deadbeat dad right like that's like the yeah. frustrating part <laughs> but no he admitted to being he, uh, like he still is a dad which is know? still which is a step forward better for than me. most yeah. it's better than most but the, <laughs> to finally have the closure to yeah. be like hey I am a Debbie dad. Right. You know what I mean? Well, it turns out it wasn't <laughs> just that man. Okay, there's going to be a sequel to the yeah, Debbie dad. A couple of them. <laughs> there's there's as many chapters in this story as there is to Trapped in the Closet, if you remember. <laughs> uh, turns out now a 23-year-old Argentinian woman had just come out and said that that's her father. Um, and they're going through all the tests now to prove it. But she makes the 11th child. So... How many children does Diego Maradona have that he claims? Do we know how many? I don't. That, that are with his now ex-wife. Okay. There's also something in this article that says he had a baby with Sergio Aguero's ex-wife, which I don't think that's true. No, that's no I think his <laughs> child. His dog. He, okay, so we've got Our producer says he's recognized five children, yeah, yeah. which is... <laughs> Which is beautiful. It feels like we work for more. <laughs> <laughs> because this is Diego Maradona was the uh, what uh, Antonio Cromarty before yeah, Antonio yeah. Cromarty. Right? Antonio Cromarty's favorite soccer player right here, Diego Maradona. <laughs> okay, so clearly footballers uh, yeah, have yeah. a lot in common, right? Doesn't matter, different sport. <laughs> Similar CTE. <laughs> <laughs> and the C stands for cocaine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but this kind of uh, this kind of behavior is just uh, just absurd. And but when you watch the documentary, you understand. And it it really, I, I, honestly, the, the the documentarians must have had to like uh, do a little cocaine just to get the feeling. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, they must have had to. They must have gone through some footage and data and found uh, stuff out. But they we're like, like, you can't put that in. Well, we can't put it in. We're not sure. He this doesn't have time to talk about these ten <laughs> other children. We don't have fourteen other documentaries yeah, to make yeah. <laughs> with the but HBO doesn't have that large a budget right. um, that's the new game of thrones uh but it's it, the game of cribs <laughs> it's just uh but the sergio girl uh, sergio guero's wife it's is his daughter is is diego maradona's daughter daughter okay. one of them that he claimed one of the, like the the yeah the obvious like no i was there when he was born <laughs> oh uh, you married sergio right. girl yeah you're my daughter yeah oh, you're my daughter now <laughs> you know what he's my son um <laughs> but now that he's got 11 everyone the joke is now he could start his own he could field his own uh soccer team yes here's what little hidden detail in this article 
Did you know? Supposedly, allegedly, three of these children are in Cuba. Okay. Which I didn't even get to do this because Cuba law is 7 nothing. I should have. Bah, 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 <laughs> Cuba. But Diego Maradona birthed three children. Can one of them play soccer? It's. Bah, 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 Cuba. <laughs> okay. No. There's a silver lining here right? to disowning your children. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look, you... I'm Cuban and I was disowned by my father. There's a possibility. It's Diego Maradona. <laughs> We've confirmed it. Yeah, you heard it here first. <laughs> Every. Dad, bring the blow. Yeah. We have a glass table right yeah. here. <laughs> this is why we got it. Did this you imagine <laughs> being reunited with my papa? <laughs> oh, my God. And having an Argentinian accent all yeah, of a sudden. Yeah, get easy. It's blue. <laughs> this is, I mean, quite an astounding <laughs> discovery that we... <laughs> what if this is what this whole podcast was about? But this all sort of... It's, it's, I mean, the dots are kind of coming together. The connecting. Uh, there's a strong possibility. Alexis, you're Cuban. What's your connection to soccer? I honestly don't know. <laughs> it feels I, like hereditary. I th- I'm drawn to did it. Your, did your mom travel to Napoli at, all, <laughs> at any time in the last... I feel like he went to Cuba, <laughs> if we're going to be honest. <laughs> You know what I mean? Go right to the source. Uh, look, <laughs> we, I hope. It, I look for for the sake of uh, uh, you know uh, of families and and children that don't know their father. Right. I hope this is not true. I hope it, it's. Oh no, I hope it is true because there's got to be three kids who don't know their dad in, in Cuba, <laughs> and now they're like, wait a minute. I mean, you can't you can't throw a baseball <laughs> yeah. five feet without hitting three kids that don't know who their father is. You know, is. there's three kids out there with no dads. <laughs> there's three kids out there with no dads who can kick a curve. Ball. And they're like, there's just something <laughs> odd about this child. <laughs> I don't know how Cuban he or she is. I mean, exactly. You know. <laughs> uh, you gotta love Hispanic Heritage Month. It's really We're a, ending it on a real a beautiful time. On a, on a twist. It ain't like Chama on twist. <laughs> I'm the, Alexis Maradona Jr. <laughs> I thought the junior on there. <laughs> they were Cuban the whole time. Throughout the entire <laughs> The entire film, they were Cuban. <laughs> That's the whole twist. <laughs> Unbelievable. I didn't. Do we take anything seriously? I just want people to know that when we start these segments, we do not know where they will end. This was not planned at all. <laughs> we did not plan to solve the greatest crime in history. <laughs> but, but, yeah. This is. This should be the, the next- Diego Code. <laughs> This is the new plot to National Treasure. <laughs> yeah, I know yeah. that. Nick Cage is going to go get my DNA test. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. call me dad. Well, all right, we figured it out. I mean, it's been a long journey. Yeah, it's about damn time. <laughs> so uh, we're glad we sorted all that out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because it, it was really weighing on Alexis for it's a long bo- time. It's bothered me forever, but I'm glad I know now. <laughs> so, uh, okay, we'll be back. Uh, and we have another fun clip uh, about a soccer player that loves donuts. That's right. Which I, I was shocked when I found out. <laughs> All right. So we'll be back with more after this. We're doing it. We still do it. We, we've been doing it. We're going to keep doing it. And we're still doing it. Yeah, that's right. So that was, you know, that first clip was a, a best of. And now this is a bester of. <laughs> that's it's right. Just climbing up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till we get to the bestest. Of. <laughs> so uh, next up, we have we were joined recently by Ansi Agoli of the New York Cosmos. That's right. And also for the Albanian national team. Mm-hmm. And Absolutely. We want Karabag legend. Karabag. We were like, well, let's talk about. Champions League. Let's talk about, uh, you know, you, Euros. How about your beloved in your nation? But he was like, yo, let's talk about donuts. Donuts. All right, that's what I'm here for. I love donuts. <laughs> and I was like, no, you don't. And then he made fun of me. Check it out. <laughs> how do you say hello in Albanian? I'm just curious. Hello. Uh, see See Mirdita. Mirdita? Mirdita. Okay. Was, see ya. Okay. Sounds good. Mirdita? <laughs> Cause that's, that's cool. I know Spanish, <laughs> it's and that's a wildly close. <laughs> Are the languages similar? Because I feel like it might be. <laughs> also, how'd you know my my nickname in high school? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Ozzy, I did want to ask uh, about now that you are in New York, what is that? How is it adjusting for you and your family? I also was your family here already. Yeah. Oh, okay. My family lives here for uh, ten years. Oh, that's great. Oh, wow. My wife, my son, born last year. 
So. Oh, awesome! Congrats. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah, Thank you. Great. So I, I did hear a uh, uh, this note about you, a little little rumor. I, I, apparently, you are a huge fan of Dunkin' Donuts, but not the coffee, just the donuts. donuts yeah. You, you just know. like not only Dunkin' Donuts, you know, just Cri Cri Cripsy Cream, Krispy Kreme. <laughs> okay. Know, other. I gotta be honest. You don't look like a big donut <laughs> fan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You look what like you, you smell the donut and that's it. <laughs> I look like I eat the donut. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't agree. Don't agree so quickly. Honestly, you look actually you look a little bit like uh, Boston cream. Yeah. I look. <laughs> Yo, you, you got a nice <laughs> cream filling, Alexa. Wow. <laughs> we make a nice, nice, nice commercial to donuts. That'd be a good, a very plump donut. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, sick auntie burn. Yeah, yeah. I love it. <laughs> Roast it. <laughs> my auntie, Angoli. Yeah, that's uh, but what I mean, are, would the donuts that didn't become a part of your training back in Azerbaijan, did it? Yeah, yeah. My wife, my wife visited me when I used to play there. She visited me uh, uh, every month. I mean, yeah, okay, every okay. month she comes, she stay two weeks, three weeks. So anytime she come. I say, don't forget the donuts. Don't forget the, don't forget the <laughs> I'm donuts. not letting you in the house if you don't bring it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is the this is That's the best sure. advertisement for Dunkin' Donuts. That's for sure. How is this not your spokesperson? He called his wife and said, don't forget the donuts. Uh, yeah, I know I haven't seen you in a month. <laughs> don't forget them donuts. Yeah. That's wonderful. What's your favorite donut? Can I guess? You said Boston cream. Boston I was cream gonna is suggest good. Boston cream. All right. Boston cream is good. Okay. Glazed Boom. also. It's, it's not not too sweet. I feel like Boston cream is just like uh, the filling is like is too too much. At least in my opinion. Yeah, of course you would think that. I think it's perfect. <laughs> we got to take it to Donut Pub. We got to take it to Donut Plant. So many great donut places here in New York. Yeah, there's a oh? lot. Yeah. There's a lot of um, uh, I guess boutique donut places. Yeah. That's the best way to <laughs> hipster, hipster donut. Gourmet, places. yes, gourmet donut places. I don't know if, if those are a little too fancy uh, for you, but I think it's you know it's something you should consider. Uh, for me, it's no problem. If you do donuts, donuts is okay for me. <laughs> okay, no fried dough. Let's <laughs> get it. Absolutely. Let's. Does it matter it. the brand? You know, <laughs> <laughs> donuts. Yeah, donuts. That's all I want. Me and you could be best friends. I don't know if you know this. Uh, except I dip mine in coffee. You're not just a big soccer fan. You're also a big boxing fan. If you didn't play soccer, was there another sport that you think you would have excelled in? Uh, I never think about that, you know. But I like, like you say, I like too much uh, watching box. Mm -hmm. uh, anytime I have the chance, you know, because we normally we play Saturday and. Saturday, mostly of the fights they are Saturday, but when I have the chance to watch box, I watch it. That looks great. I, I, I like this uh, middleweight. You like middleweight? More actions, you know? Yeah, they do. They throw the hands they, off. They fast. throw, yeah, fast. So. The heavyweights are too late. Uh, <laughs> oh. yeah. 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 One punch, finish. I like the guys who weigh like 110 pounds. <laughs> Just like two school kids in a fight, you know? <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Just, that's why he's always on World Stuff. <laughs> Just watch it, high school right. fights. Yeah, how many people get fat shamed by legends? <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly, you're, it's odd that you're proud of it. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I printed that out and I put it on my fridge. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thank you, Auntie Agoli, for joining us. That, that was, was incredible. Uh, that was really dope. Uh, and uh, next up, we, you know, I, this best of... I'm realizing this show is a lot more global than I originally Bro, thought. We international superstars. <laughs> okay, <so>. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be talking about some of the, our stories out in Japan. So uh, we'll be back after this. Yes, I was in uh, I was in Japan for a little bit. You were okay, but the, well, but the show still went on. The show does not stop. Nah, it doesn't matter where you are, bro. You yeah. get the internet, you're on the show. <laughs> <laughs> that goes for anybody who wants to be on the show. <laughs> you heard? <laughs> you got an AOL.com email? Yeah. You on the show? You good? <laughs> Hotmail, spell mail. <laughs> All right, then that's not the website I own. All right, you can still be on the but show. But no, but while while I was in Japan, I got to uh, one got, learn about the culture. You shared the culture with us. Exactly. All and I did what I normally do to cultures, which is disrespect. It. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I had to. I got to drive a really cool uh, uh, beverage. Yeah. Uh, and here's the the story about it. Terrible name. <laughs> You're out there eating nothing oh, but sushi. What are you eating out there? The the good old days. I, I'm right now. Uh, I've been having. Uh, I don't even. Know, I haven't had anything. I, I would say specifically Japanese, but uh, the, the, a lot of the snacks I've been having are weird, right? So this is a 
This is Cal Calpis Soda, which is this is a <laughs> weird, a weird white substance that it's oddly sweet, and I don't know what the actual flavor. It doesn't seem like it's a real flavor. All right, There's well, a lot of we, weird Japanese. We're snacks. definitely going to talk a little bit more about you drinking Calpis right after this. <laughs> A few weeks later. Algunas semanas después. Speaking of Japan, I, I, I don't know if we didn't prepare this, but we have the, the Calpis is here. Oh! <laughs> can we can we have someone bring it? Uh, Dan, do you mind bringing me that? that Calpis, we have, so this was the drink that, thank you, thank you, cheers. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> thank you, Dan. Uh, right here it is, just a warm bottle of Calpis. <laughs> so, th so this was the drink that I had in uh, in Japan and that we were talking about when I uh, called in from Japan, and it was it's called Calpis Can I ask Soda. You, what made you, just from seeing this, what made you want to drink this liquid? Because I can tell you <laughs> what it looks like to me, but I have a feeling it's going to be bleeped. <laughs> it is, uh, so it's apparently a yogurt drink. It's a murky, white, <laughs> milky, it's, imagine you put water and milk and it became one. <laughs> Okay. There's a there's a term for that. Well, we are making you're saying it in your head, guys. <laughs> just as you're watching, we just. don't want we don't have to say anything, okay? Like you're gonna say this out loud, and whoever you live with is gonna be like, "Wait, you want me to go over there?" <laughs> <laughs> Do you get me? <laughs> so this... things change when you become a television show, folks. <laughs> also, we got in trouble during one of the breaks for the 90 minutes running around. Really around. <laughs> so we're gonna drink this. So yeah, let's... is this bubbly? I'm about to find out. I. Hey! Okay, yeah, there's a little sel seltzer in there, Look, a little carbonated. All right. It All right. smells kind of like Sprite. Oh, okay. God, it pours just like it, too, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I called my doctor once because mine came out like this. <laughs> I'm not making that up. She told me I drink, she told me I drank too much water. Oh, okay. She said, also, Google before you call my service. <laughs> it's a true story. She's like, please don't call me telling me that your discharge is water. <laughs> anyway, this is a yogurt-based soda. That's what they want you to think. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Okay. <laughs> this. this should be on drinks with Binks, I think. <laughs> All right, it tastes like Sprite. Yeah, just drink Sprite. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little. Why are you drinking? It's kind of Sprite. Yeah, yeah. It's a, a soda e soda e yogurt flavor. I get the yogurt. I get the yogurt. It's some uh, strangely in the back of the throat uh, <laughs> is where you get the flavor of it. Okay, this is probably our most disgusting <laughs> segment, I believe, if I have to say. I would agree with you. You're the one who brought this up. <laughs> it was it. We had to use it, okay, <laughs> before it went bad yeah. in, in, in 2085. That's right. <laughs> I'm surprised they don't distribute this in tissues. There's no reason to put this in a bottle. <laughs> uh, yeah, look at this. A little, little throwback Thursday to Sakalpis. Ah. Mm. It is somewhat refreshing. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's popular in Japan. Look, they had it everywhere. Oh my god, dude, it's really high in protein. Too. No, I'm joking. That one I made up. <laughs> that one I, made up. <laughs> I can't read the nutrients. It's all like in Japanese. It's all Japanese. All right. Uh, oh, wow. so I'm glad. I'm glad we got to this. This is, uh, this is definitely great television. <laughs> we'll be back with more Calpis after this. A few days later. Algunos días I just después. Want to point this out. Yeah, this is true. Uh, after we had posted the video of us trying the the calpas, we posted on right. Instagram. Guess who liked the video? Calpis! Calpis the, liked the video! The corporate account was like, wait a minute, did you joke about semen for seven minutes straight? Well then, click. Love it. You get, you get a double yeah. tap. Who's, who's read our marketing decks, huh? So, uh, great synergy there, which was lovely. Wait till I go to Bulgaria and try a great drink named horse poop. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even sound like a beverage, to be honest. <laughs> oh, cow piss? <laughs> it's refreshing? Why is it so white? <laughs> uh, yes, cow piss is um, the, the new official drink of the Cooligans. Uh, <laughs> but uh, that was a, was a cool experience. And the drink is not that bad. That's right. No, it was actually... Very good. Well, maybe. I don't know. Maybe we try it. Maybe we'll it, it feels uncomfortable to like it. Yeah. 100%. That's the weird issue. <laughs> but when we come back, oh, man, we've got so much, including me being a model. <laughs> Welcome back. 
watching the best of the Cooligans. Right. And you're probably thinking, hey, Alexis, why are you even there? Shouldn't you be walking on a catwalk being that you're a model? You're exactly right. I should, but I retired, so I'm back. <laughs> yeah, Alexis has that great ability to read viewers' minds. <laughs> That's right. I was just, what, what do they think when they see me and I think model, you know? I was because, also thinking before model, but I wasn't going to say anything. You know? <laughs> but, yeah, so well, while we do this show, we, we don't always prepare exactly what we're going to talk about, and sometimes things come up that need a little further explanation. Sometimes the story of our youth pops up, and, <laughs> and the other person is like, wait, what? <laughs> and that's what happened. Slow down. <laughs> Stop the show. <laughs> Cameras off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, In fact, can we get all cameras on one person right now uh so this happened uh about alexis's modeling career so let's uh, let's uh watch don't that. laugh until you see it <laughs> and today happens to be the final day of hispanic heritage month Buddy, alexis, we did it we survived another one we did it <laughs> good we can celebrate now nice. uh we, we could release the doves what happens <laughs> at the end <laughs> that's right and those and our doves have neck tattoos that's right <laughs> And by the way, when we say release, we mean give them back the clothes they came in with <laughs> and they're back. <laughs> uh, but no, we got uh, 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 some some gifts as a, as, a, as a show of appreciation for Hispanic Heritage Month, I think. I just, Who knows? It's an unboxing. It's we an never about, know what's We don't in know that. what's inside. We never know what's inside. Why don't you open up yours first? Okay. It's a little smaller. Let's get this one going. All right. This is... I'll start this, just in case there's like a note in here of some sort. Okay. All right. This says okay. Uh, okay, I know who this is from. This says, okay. This says, "Hello, Christian. Congratulations on the show, and wish you uh, much more success. Uh, your passion for the game will take you anywhere you set yourself to. Please accept this humble gift. That is uh, as it is our first soccer-inspired product uh, with the sale of every watch. So this is a watch. So with the sale of every watch, we donate soccer gear to kids in need. Any help you can provide to drive our mission forward would be greatly appreciated. Uh, we would love to help you wearing this watch." <laughs> So, uh, this is from uh, F uh, Foot Love. Foot Love, the, okay. the, 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 the watch uh, company. I've seen. Now, I don't wear watches. Why not? Because my, my grandfather always said, never show somebody else what they don't have. And when he passed away, he never wore a watch. So, in his honor, wow. I don't wear a watch. So on top of watches, it, it's also what? Like uh, vegetables. He said, don't you dare. <laughs> don't, show, don't show affection, yeah. care, yeah. or respect for any other human being. Emotion or for the people <laughs> who wear watches. Uh, this is pretty cool. Okay. All right. You open that. Oh, I know what this is. All right. That's a, this is the the box for uh, 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 Foot Love. Oh, oh look, look at, at this. this. All right, let me open this. While you open that. Oh, okay. Look at this. We, we got, were just tweeting about these guys. Oakland Roots. If you don't know, what size is this? This feels like it's, Whoa. Oh, it's a medium. <laughs> this is wild. It's just a watch. What do you mean it's no, wild? No, no, but it comes inside like a soccer ball. <laughs> oh, this, that's pretty cool. This is incredible. While you open that, I mean, here we go. Oakland Roots. If you don't know, this is a lower league team. <laughs> uh, NISL. Uh, dude, these guys are doing some incredible things. They have a video of their players just getting hyphy, hyphy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, just dancing to blow the whistle. I think that's it's how the most Oakland. Yeah, yeah. That's I think that's the trial for the players. They're, they're like, uh, they don't even check to see if they could dribble a ball or it's shoot. Like, dude, they're just I like, yo, play. can you? It's a dance competition, yeah. and then, <laughs> uh, dude, I can't play soccer. It doesn't matter. You get lit on the dance floor. <laughs> so we know, oh. we know you got some skill. All right, look at this. This is incredible. Thank you so much, Oakland Roots. Thank you so much, Foot Love. Uh, this is dope. It's come, the watch comes inside of a like a leather sock, a leather brown soccer ball. Look at this. Look at that. That's beautiful. This is so fire. I feel like you could use that as like a like a like a toiletry case okay. after you're done with the watch. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Let me see the watch. I love how Alexis is always thinking about the toilet. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and, we, and we know sometimes I'll just use my pants. You know? <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Well done. Thank you so much, for love. This is uh, this is really cool. Appreciated very very much. I'm gonna let me see. I'll put this on. Let's see if I can get this on. Shout uh, to Oakland Roots once again, dude. I can't wait to wear that hoodie. Yeah, the the uh, there's a, there's a lot of uh, a lot of clubs, a lot of teams like every, Forward Madison. Forward, and there's so many clubs in the lower league that are just doing wild, cool stuff. Exactly, and people are always sort of wondering like what. You know, be because U.S. soccer, uh, you know, we don't have promotion relegation, but 
like how, how is it can th that lower you know lower league clubs can they can stand out and a lot of times it's like the, by by having a unique be identity be a merch brand be a mer be a, well yeah selling dope like gear yeah. like wh why not like why bug eaters can do it oakland roots can do it why can't that be a part of like the the cuz you see like people in like england rocking oakland roots stuff and also and and this is 100% true okay this is all fact i'm not making this up Premier League merch tends to be trash. Okay. All right. You're going <laughs> to. Gonna... It's true. Some shots fired. It, think about it. When was the last time you saw like a really dope hat or a really dope, like sometimes the jackets, the warm up stuff, if you're willing to wear something a bit more athletic. Yeah. It's cool. But just like lifestyle stuff ain't that dope. I agree. It's okay. A, it's a, Oakland Roots has a much better merch game than Arsenal. Okay, that's a bold statement. Right? Yeah, okay, you're an Arsenal supporter. And here's the thing. If you want to prove me wrong, just send it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's compare side to side. What right. I'm saying is I'll wear this <laughs> Oakland Roots hoodie, and you send me your best, and then Christian will tell me during a fashion show, which happens in between segments here, there's which no, one's better. Well, there's no reason why we can't have a, a Cooligans fashion show. There is absolutely no reason why we can't. Did you know I was the vice president of the modeling club in high school? Okay, let's break this <laughs> down because this one, first of all, this seems like a lie, okay? 100% <laughs> true. I will bring in my, you must, what, my okay, yearbook. Okay, what were you modeling exactly? What is day to day, day to day, what is... What is a meeting like at, for the, at the modeling club? Me and a bunch of hot ladies. Okay. okay. <laughs> and uh, it was me and like two other boys. And we were suggested that we join the modeling club because if they didn't have enough numbers, they wouldn't be able to do their show. Got so it. the girls were like, yo, it would be great if you joined. I was like, all right, let's do this. It was just me and a bunch of dope chicks. Yo, this is amazing. And then all of a sudden, they're like, who wants to run for vice president? I was like, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I won. I won the election. Okay. Did yeah. you buy like a landslide? First election, I won. <laughs> <laughs> And I didn't even try to like finagle my way to the top. Okay, and uh, so that as what here's my duties. favorite part. Hold on, okay. you know what the responsibilities are? The vice president of the modeling club? What? Not a goddamn thing. <laughs> and honestly, I've never been more 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 appropriately positioned for something in my entire life. Okay. And then you 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 bought a bunch of clothes and you did a whole fashion show. Yeah. And that's when a, a bunch of cops. The, my friend was looking for his special shoes that he was going to wear with his suit in a in a in his car, and the cops. A bunch of undercover cops, like, oh, they thought we were dealing drugs. And they looked through the whole thing. And my fat ass had to explain to this cop, no, no, sir, I'm a model. I almost got shot. I almost got beat and shot. Because I said, no, officer, like, I'm a model. And thank God I had, I had the tickets to the model show. And the cop was so angry. He's like, Hey, yo, Johnson, get over here. <laughs> You'll never believe it. These, these kids are models. Yeah. And they're like, even the fat one? <laughs> Apparently, he's the vice president. <laughs> yes, because I'm sure he was just, he was just like, you, you, you know that lying to an officer is a felony, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Impersonating a model might be a felony. <laughs> I just love that there were real drug dealers like a block away, like, get out of here, there's cops here. And they drove off with whatever it was these guys. I mean, I'm talking about like eight, nine caprices. Just, yeah, yeah. It was Man, wild. It's, Dogs everywhere. It's it's just incredible. You can't even be, uh, you know, an honest model <laughs> in know? Newark, New Jersey, yeah. without somebody <laughs> thinking that you're a criminal. How dangerous <laughs> is it to be a model in a city like Newark? Let me tell you, I almost died for the for the love of it. You know, it was yeah. the art. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Mr. Modeling Club. That's right. I sashay into work every day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at that. I didn't realize he was this fierce. <laughs> I mean, smizing. <laughs> Letting these hoes know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we were all rooting for you. <laughs> that's, that's all the that's all I know about that. Joke. <laughs> yeah, that's all the modeling lingo we know. <laughs> I didn't stay in it long. I was too good. They asked me to leave. Uh, so that was, a, yeah, that was definitely a nice, uh, nice, a nice best of. A lot yeah. of fun. Uh, but next up, you can't have a best of show without Zlatan being mentioned. Uh, again, and right when we get back. We'll be back. Welcome back to Cooligans Best Of. You're they, crushing it because you're still tuning in. Cooligans Greatest Ever Of. <laughs> That's 
what I'm going to call it. <laughs> Rename it. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like I, like I said before, you can't have a best of episode without Zlatan being involved somehow. Because somehow the, the dude he creeps a, his way in. The dude's a massive figure yeah. uh, in, in, in world football. Uh, but... Uh, they, they were, there was a statue recently built of, uh, of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. That's right. Uh, in Sweden. Uh, and, uh, I mean, it's, yeah, it's grandiose. It's, uh, it's definitely in a, fitting. Yeah, it's not subtle in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> so, and we talked about it on the show. So, here is that Zlatan statue. Woo! A couple of things that we have to get to, but one of them was uh, a, a we couldn't get a tan this weekend. Because somebody was throwing a lot of shade. <laughs> no, no, no. We have to the the statue that's causing a little oh, bit of shade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have to talk about Zlatan Ibrahimovic because he got a statue built, and you would think he would have had a statue built already. Yeah, he him. seems also in his house. You think he would just have a statue? <laughs> yeah. See, I'm sure he I yeah. hired somebody in right. L. A. to build one already for just him. Just put one in his bed. He's like, I want to sleep next to myself at all times. <laughs> but no, is. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Uh, uh, getting uh, got a statue built uh, in Malmo. In Malmo, where he's wh- from, where he's from in Sweden, and this is uh, it's a big deal for a, a lot of reasons because it's a massive honor. Because uh, yeah, we don't have statues yet. We don't have bobbleheads yet, man. Yo, come on, Nork, <laughs> Which- give me a statue. <laughs> Yo, we need a statue for Reggie Noble, aka Redman, and for me. <laughs> Am I allowed to ask for my own statue? <laughs> It seems kind of tacky. Works. I mean, as far as when it comes to Newark, yeah, I think that's how it works. Yeah. You know, you ask for a statue, you grease the right palms. But yeah, look at Slata. Look how happy he is with his statue. Yeah, but this the reason this is a big deal is because Latan... Because he's naked. The statue is practically naked, and they gave him... It is weird. He has no shoes. They gave the statue a very large bulge, okay? <laughs> Did he meet Ali Krieger just before the statue was made? But look, the, the statue is a little strange because he looks like he's uh, uh, like he just stepped out of a Russian bathhouse, yeah, right? Yeah. He's in these weird shorts that are it like... It looks like the police woke him up. <laughs> He's like, what do you want? Oh, oh, hands are up. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want from me? I'm not doing it. <laughs> uh, but but Zlatan has always talked about, and the reason he is as as arrogant uh, as he is mm-hmm. is because he talks about how difficult it was being. Uh, you know, his parents are uh, like he's his dad, not Swedish. He's not Swedish. Like his he's pa- Swedish born, but he doesn't have a Swedish heritage. Exactly. So his his uh, parents are from uh, one from Bosnia and Herzegovina, yeah. and and uh, mom. I from Croatia. Oh, so you could just be from three countries now. That's pretty great. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's a lot of uh, bloodlines yeah. there. But he talked about how the, the difficult to be and racism that he had to like deal with. Yeah, he has like the darker hair, the bigger nose. He got made fun of for all those things growing up. So he built that that thick outer skin, which you could see on the statue. Uh, he <laughs> most of it. Actually. He built that over years of sort of being ridiculed. Exactly, and now he has a statue in. In Sweden, right? Yeah. Where he's from. So I, it's a big deal for him. And, uh, yeah, some people may feel he's a big big old asshole, but uh, he <laughs> did a big old... Why did I say it that way? Yeah. But, <laughs> can we cut that man, out some people so feel, I can have that? Some people feel he's a prolapsed asshole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some people, he's kind of a gape. You know? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I mean, you decide where you fall on that. Whichever one you want. <laughs> uh, but it, it is a big deal. For, uh, so congrats to him, at least, for that, to, to that, getting a statue. All right, Zlatan. Like I'm, I'm not the only model. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got a little competition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll but take hope, you down, Zlatan. Hopefully there's enough you know, yeah. <laughs> space in the world for both of those egos. Right. Wait till they do my shirtless statue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need a co- bit more bronze. <laughs> All right? We're going we're gonna to work on it a little longer. Less Less crinkling in the belly area. Okay. It's be one big old got, piece. Yeah, you're going to smooth that out. Yeah, belly buds going to be a lot bigger. <laughs> we all know that's all that matters. Uh, so, yes. Uh, so, thank you for, uh, again, sticking with us. That's uh, right. We cool. got more, though. We got more, though. So, there'll be uh, more after this. Oh, uh, you, What's next? You M- remember? We got MLS Cup. Churros. Churros. Bootleg merch, baby. <laughs> Let's do it. Cool against best of, and you you might be you might be asking why is he wearing that hat? Because it's the greatest hat ever. I am, right. yo, we support your local bootleggers. Okay, <laughs> that's right because they need our help. That's right. You know, they're just <laughs> trying to feed their family that they make up every time you say you don't want to buy something. So yeah, uh, so I think th- this is one of the more unique shows and unique clip 
clips because we were able to merge Major League Soccer and Churro Ladies. That's right. You, and that, what's more important than that subsection? <laughs> that, that overlap on the Venn diagram is what we call our fan base, <laughs> our demographic. Okay. All the aunties, all the tias right <laughs> That's there. Right. <laughs> all right. So this is our MLS bootleg Churro Lady clip. <laughs> Best of. No, we are excited to be here. We're excited to be back from Seattle. That's uh, it. And thank you for tuning in. I feel in. like every episode we're back from a different location. Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. We're we're uh, actually we're in deep credit card debt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We owe a lot of bad people a lot of money. Uh, I hope uh, I hope that's clear to everyone. <laughs> Join Gully Squad, everybody. <laughs> we need help. We so really bad. need it. <laughs> so uh, no, welcome to the show. Uh, we are the Cooligans. Uh, this right. is your, the, your. We are your favorite stand-up comedians that host the funniest soccer show that yeah, you we have better ever. Be. I mean. Uh, ugh, imagine you found another one. Ew. <laughs> another you know comedian or another comedian who hosts a soccer show? You know it would be trash. <laughs> don't do it. You got us. Yeah, don't do that to yourself. What more do you need? <laughs> Grass ain't greener? <laughs> <laughs> and not just that, we're also the gulliest soccer show that's, that's right. ever been on television. So, uh, we're yeah, we're excited to, uh, we, like, I, like I said before, we're excited to be back because uh, we were just in Seattle for uh, the Major League Soccer Cup. And we got to the major. The, that's what it's called. I'm not. <laughs> that's true. We, also, the MLS World Cup. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> based on some dope merch that was being sold outside by hustlers who also had no idea how dope their merch was. They didn't know. They didn't know what the MLS Cup was. No. They didn't know what event was going on. They don't know the World Cup exists. <laughs> they don't know MLS Cup exists. But they know that if you put those words together, there's a picture of the hat right there. Yeah, this is uh, this. So this was the, the bootleg merch outside. This is I mean, this is a good thing. I, I, I hope people. This is a positive sign for American soccer. Correct. When when American soccer is getting bootlegged. Yes. Uh, and at, in, at the biggest tournament for, uh -huh. uh, for the first division out here in America, right. this is a good sign. So I dare you to find a crackhead outside of the lacrosse championship <laughs> game <laughs> trying to sell you a bootleg hat. That's right. This is lacrosse World Cup. It's not going to happen. It's not going to okay? happen, all right? <laughs> like I knew we kind of made it. Remember when we were walking into Rebel Arena for the Gold Cup? And it was like a street dude who's definitely not Hispanic going, Boletas, <laughs> Boletas. And I was like, hey, 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 okay. He got, he got what? He got what? Duolingo. <laughs> the, the hood edition. Yeah. To figure out <laughs> what the Spanish word for tickets is. You know, but when the, the like the diversity yeah. and the merging of cultures, uh -huh. because you need the Hispanic culture, you need soccer, you need somebody trying to scam you. 100%. And, so, and when those cultures combine, right. that's I mean, that's that's a better America. That's I'll be a, honest. That means we're taking steps forward. <laughs> Next thing you know, the churro lady is going to be selling you tickets to games. It's called inclusion. <laughs> OK. Right. And you know what? That's the America I want to live in. Yo, have you yo, have you seen the churro lady getting uh, getting arrested? No, they're all getting arrested, yo. Uh, R.I.P. to all our aunties out there <laughs> who get dragged off the subway. Disappointing. For selling deep fried dough. One of the most American <laughs> things you could possibly sell. Exactly. Yeah. Deep fried dough covered in sugar. What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> what? How is that illegal in the NYPD? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You you overdid the goodness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is uh, and uh, this shirt is a bit more like representative of what's going on nowadays. That's right, no, yo. Just, abolish, uh, abolish. Ice is going after churro ladies now. Right, yo, is, is this you necessary? You know what? Deport me, because I don't want to live in a world that doesn't have a churro lady okay. in it. Okay. I, I want to have cinnamon sugar flakes yeah. on my sweater. Where else am I supposed to find? And why is this so-called churro <laughs> at two in the morning. <laughs> Is there not a heating device? Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, uh, Sorry, yes. We, we, we digress. <laughs> How uh, do we get to this? Oh, uh, bootleggers. The bootleggers. Right. Look, it all, it all makes sense. Yeah. Um, no, uh, but Seattle was incredible. Yes. Uh, c congratulations to the Seattle Sounders. Also, one of the most impressive marches to the match I've ever seen in my entire life. Incredible. And, you know, they had a Macklemore concert before it, so they tried to ruin it, obviously. <laughs> they tried to find a way to get people... <laughs> Out of the <laughs> Macklemore, oh, so people don't know Macklemore is a part owner yeah. of the Seattle Sounders. Uh, I heard it was silent owner, and that's because they make him be silent. <laughs> Just please, whatever you do, don't play your music. <laughs> Look, he got. I'll, I'll be honest. He got those white people lit. Oh yes, the game. he did. <laughs> they were hype for there the was game. A lot, it was a lot of soccer dads out there, <laughs> and a lot of them were tapping their toes. They were, 
They were hitting those new balances that you only buy if you go hiking. You know what I'm talking about? They were tapping those joints a little bit. It, it was, they put on, he put on a show. Where you get them shoes, dog? Like, you know what I'm talking about? Those shoes that look like they're boots, but they have, like, the spaces missing so your feet can breathe. Where do you buy those? I want, like, you yo, it's going like... to be cold outside, but I want the top of my foot. <laughs> oh, no, it won't be cold because I'm going to wear socks with sandals you anyway. You got to get like, them at, like, like uh, REI, right? Or, like, Patagonia. Patagonia, right? yeah. There's, there's, like, a, there's like a, hey, we're sorry your wife left you section of Patagonia. <laughs> <laughs> I think there was something about, yo, know, I had never been to Seattle before, but the city very much was about this MLS Cup. Where where um, Uber drivers, everybody, Uber drivers, people yes. throwing the fish. <laughs> <laughs> they were they're 100. They were wearing the jersey, and I'm like, all right. yeah, they were all into it, man. It, it was a, uh, uh, the, I mean, like I think the closest thing was like when we were in Atlanta, but it, it still felt very new, right? Because this was the first time Seattle hosted MLS Cup when they were in it, because before it used to be the neutral a, a neutral site, site. Yeah, and, and they, they hosted so, it before. So they hosted, I think RSL won it. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. Uh, but this was the energy in the city was unbelievable. I mean, every single bar was full. The game was sold out, so people couldn't get tickets. That there was, there were watch parties. Even the dudes that talk like they only watch NFL, you know what I'm talking about? Like they they sound like they it's only like, watch NFL. Oh yeah, yeah. Just, or maybe they wear red hats during elections. Even <laughs> those guys knew soccer was happening and were excited about it. You're like, you're, oh, you're, oh you're, you're here for <laughs> the soccer game. It was actually exciting. I'm like, your tone suggested. That the rest of this sentence wasn't going to be positive. Okay. <laughs> you have a very strong correlation between NFL fans and just straight up Trump lovers. Well, I mean, <laughs> if a soccer player kneel, knelt down, we wouldn't boo. So welcome, <laughs> welcome to New America. Boletas. Boletas, boletas. <laughs> no, overall, uh, the, the amount of uh, support and love we got out in Seattle was overwhelming. overwhelming. It was unbelievable. We, we couldn't walk. Honestly, it was like every five to ten minutes, somebody yelling cooligans across the streets. Even you got, when they won, when they won, someone came up to us like in the midst of cheering for their their team just won MLS Cup, and they stopped us to be like, "You have no idea how important your voices are to me." Yada yada yada. I'm like, "What? Why are you even? Why are you talking to me? Your team just won." <laughs> you know. Also, you got catcalled uh, by a woman. A lady driving by in a car lowered the window and goes, "Gulliers, <laughs> it's you." <laughs> And drove away. <laughs> and I legitimately think she was one of the three Latinos I said lived in Seattle. <laughs> she saw nah, me, there, stopped me. There was a there was a fair amount, but it was it was good to see that the the L Latina support out there because I, you know it's just yeah they, they see I you. got an eye poppy <laughs> version. <laughs> okay, she's proud of you. She was also like in the back seat, so she had to tell someone to stop, stop, stop. stop. Lower the window, <laughs> go I, I, I got it's you. Lower the window. I got <laughs> I got to yell at this chubby dude yeah. <laughs> oh like, martha that's who like, you like what is that her deli guy <laughs> the guy's lower in the window <laughs> we had never been to seattle before i don't right. expect everyone to know who we are or i don't or expect care. anything or to care nobody cares or care it's fine uh but we, i certainly didn't expect anyone to be mad <laughs> that we were there but we went uh, after the game was over we went to congratulate uh some of our friends and just say hey siege who just flew in yeah uh, kevin right? yeah yeah Say you know, congrats. Kale, the princess of the, the princess show. Of, we wanted to just get, show them some love and be like, "Yo, we're here." Go, and give by the you way, hug. we're allowed, right? We have, we have. Oh yeah, there's Brad Evans. Right oh look there. at that, Brad Evans. Right? <laughs> Brad was cool with us. Yeah, <laughs> Brad was fine. But we had um, press passes that say we can go anywhere we want, but the field. Yeah. So we went where we wanted, <laughs> and it was not the field. So we went into the ECS section to say congrats, a lot of hugs. Uh, but we were a lot not of high fives. Yeah, we were not. Well, we're we're not allowed, really allowed to be there. The, the I mean, supporters, no, no, no. We're allowed to be there. No, we're not. We're, we're 100 allowed to be we're there. We're not allowed to be there. We're allowed to be there. I don't there. know why. I got documents. What we learned. That say I'm allowed to be there. <laughs> we learned very quickly. We're not allowed to be there. I mean, we it are. was more of them than us. So. A couple people had a problem with it. Yeah. But first, we got splashed with some water. Yeah. And I was like, well, that's, that's what a weird way to celebrate by splashing water directly at us. Right? <laughs> Normally, you throw it up in the air. Right? But clearly, someone must have been going crazy. Yeah. And then it happened again. Yeah. And what I, I realized it was somebody who was splashing water around someone else, which is like, there's a word for it. Yeah, it wasn't like somebody came it. up directly at us, like it, like we were at, like uh, at a nightclub and a girl's mad at a guy. It wasn't that. It wasn't that. It was like around somebody else, which is kind of like a, it's like a, it's it's a bitch move. Can I say that? Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't it wasn't. 
particularly polite. I'll no. say that. <laughs> but it's also like it's so immature. You it know? was very mature. Dog, you just won. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Aren't you excited? Yeah. So then I realized after the second one, like, oh, I think that was on purpose. Yeah. And you had said, like, I don't think they really like media here. Yeah. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, well, they're going to love us, <laughs> right? Because we're not media. <laughs> you know, we don't take anything seriously. Yeah. Right? And then someone came right up to my face. And said, you're not welcome here. <laughs> and that's when I got the message. Uh, it was right in that moment, I think. Uh, she was very authoritative. Yeah. And I was like, I get it. And to be honest, I do. Yeah. You just won. This is your chance. This is your moment to celebrate. You don't want people that are, you know, media or here under other, you know, fans of other teams or whatever. We shouldn't be there. I get it. So I was like, uh-huh. I got it. And she goes, now. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I heard you. And she goes, you're not welcome here. I'm like, you said it? And I agreed. And she goes, you need to leave. I go, that's what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I thought this person was going to follow us the whole way out. You yeah. Know? At, uh, at least I'll, I'll say this. I was. Here we go. Here's here's a segment I like to call Christian taking the middle ground. No, no. <laughs> it, it, it was um, for people to throw water on us. It's just like, all right, man. Just like. It's corny. Yeah, it's corny. It's like. Yeah, corny. T tell us to leave. Just like. One of your chances, and I'm not going to tell you which one. Ha, ha. It's going to burn a hole in your brain. <laughs> so that part was frustrating. So outside of that, uh, everyone everyone at ECS was incredibly welcoming. Again, like we were saying, everyone, everyone else stopped us. <laughs> they, they, uh, people did literally stop us. The, the dude, uh, the Jacob, one, yeah. Jacob in the middle of the street screamed, You're not welcome here. No, no he no. was like, <laughs> 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 yeah. he, was, uh, he basically he walked out and he was like, Yo, I can't believe I get to meet you guys. Yeah. He said, he, The next thing he says is, I live on a boat. And yeah. we're like, uh oh. <laughs> and this is not uh -oh. on screen right now. This is not Jacob. This is Sammy the Sounder. Yeah. Uh, Sammy, uh, Sammy the Sounder, also happy to meet us. Yeah. Very, very lovely. Splash us with his blowhole. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Churro lady, the hero, our hero. We saved her. We saved <laughs> We did it by buying a bootleg hat. That's right. Uh, MLS World Cup champs. C congratulations, Seattle Sounders. <laughs> yeah, you did what no one thought you could do <laughs> or what you're legally not allowed to do. <laughs> so uh, we'll be back with more best of, cool against best of after this, guys. Just too amazing. Okay, <laughs> sure. That's Have good. Thought about that. <laughs> what a what a way to come back to a television show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you come back and it's just like everybody's like, oh, I, I wonder if they're gonna talk about how incredible they were. And they're <laughs> like, oh, whoa, I was. This isn't the mediocre of. <laughs> this is the best of. <laughs> this is the best of. Thank and you. after watching it with you guys, I agree with you. We're amazing. <laughs> that's right. So thank you uh, for joining us on this Cooligans Best of Adventure. That's right. Uh, we had a great time. Uh, and this is this is the show. This is what this is. A, this is what we do. Soccer. Comedy. Churro ladies. Churro ladies. <laughs> Bootleg <Okay>. merch. <laughs> okay. Cow piss. Th those are our next guests, the churro lady. <laughs> so with that said, my name is Christian Polanco. I'm Alexis Guerrero. And together, what are we? The, the Cooligans! Cool